Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to transfer your emails from one Gmail account to another Gmail account. I'm gonna walk you through every step of the process, so let's go ahead and get on into the tutorial here. Okay, I have two tabs open. I have uh, my inbox for TonyNicholasArizona at gmail.com, and I have my inbox for TonyTeachesTech at gmail.com. Okay, so what we wanna do in this video is to take all 19 emails in Tony Nicholas Arizona at gmail.com and move them over to Tony Teaches Tech at gmail.com. Okay, so uh, let's just visually look here. We have a bunch of wordpress.com emails uh, throughout the whole inbox here. So let's uh, compare that over here. Uh, we don't have any wordpress.com emails in Tony Teaches Tech. Okay, no WordPress.com emails here, but a bunch of WordPress.com emails with Tony Nicholas Arizona. Let me show you how we can move these emails over to the other inbox. So from the, the, the source email inbox, the ones that you wanna move, go to settings, see all settings. And in here, we want to go to forwarding and pop slash IMAP. And under the pop download section, we wanna turn on pop for all mail, okay? And here at step two, when messages are accessed with pop, what do you wanna happen? So is this is this gonna be a, a once and done move and then we're never gonna use this email address again? Then you probably wanna delete Gmail's copy or you can archive it or you can uh, move it, mark it as read. You have all these other options. I'm gonna delete everything in the Tony Nicholas Arizona at gmail.com inbox after it's been moved. Okay, so we should end up with an empty inbox at the end of this tutorial. Okay, so that looks good. Let's save those changes. That's all we have to do over here as far as the source destination, the emails that we want to move. Now, on the destination email inbox, what we want to do is go to the gear icon and go to see all settings. This time we're going to go to the accounts and import section. And we're gonna, from the check mail from other accounts uh, option, we wanna click on add a mail account. So here type in the emails that you wanna bring in from Tony Nicholas, Arizona, Z-O-N-A at gmail.com. Okay, click on next. Import emails from my other account. Yep, click next. Okay, so the username is Tony Nicholas Arizona at gmail.com. The password, I'll type in my password. Uh, the pop server stays the same. The port stays the same, 995 and pop.gmail.com. Um, we don't need to leave a copy of retrieve messages on the server because we told the other side that we're gonna delete them. Um, we'll use a secure connection. And uh, I guess we could label them as Tony Nicholas Arizona. Let's do that. Uh, and then we'll add that account. So, uh, whoops, Tony Nicholas Arizona at gmail.com. So let me type my password again. And either I have the wrong password or uh, something else. Oh, that's right. So I forgot. At this point, you have to um, enable less secure apps on your account. So uh, what we need to do is uh, Tony Nicholas Arizona. Uh, and that's why we're getting this sign in and attempt was blocked. So it was giving the right password, but I just need to configure less secure app. So I'll have this link down below. If you go to my account.google.com slash less secure apps, um, you need to, well, first of all, we need to make sure we're looking at the right account. So for the account that you wanna bring the emails from, okay, open that account and allow less secure apps. Turn that option on. Now. I think when we go back here, let's minimize this. Uh, when we go back here and try to reauthenticate, it should let us do it this time. So we'll add that account. Okay, so that worked. Um, this this is completely up to you. Do you want to be able to send email as the the email address that you just are going to import all those emails from? If you do want to do that, then you can continue through the process, but uh, that's outside of the scope of this tutorial. We won't do that in this case. So let's click on finish. Now let's open up, uh, we'll get out of here. We don't need the less secure apps anymore. We'll get out of here. Um, and now if we go back to our inbox uh, and refresh, 
from Tony Nicholas, Arizona. Uh, everything looks the same, right? We we see we still see that new email that popped came through. Uh, if we come over here, uh, refresh, we will see that Tony Nicholas, Arizona is checking mail. Uh, sorry, we are in the account of Tony Teaches Tech at gmail.com. And within that account, we're checking for mail from Tony Nicholas, Arizona at gmail.com. So this could take a few minutes um, for all that mail to be uh, processed and imported over here. But when we when that does finish, we will start to see those wordpress.com emails show up in here. And and when that is finished, we will see all these emails disappear over here. So uh, let's let's keep an eye on the status. We'll go to see all settings. And this, this could depend uh, entirely on how many emails you have. We don't we don't have too many emails, so it shouldn't take that long. But I think at this point we'll just go ahead, uh, pause the video, and I'll catch up with you when this finishes the checking of the mail. Okay, guys, I'm back uh, just five minutes tops later, and as you can see here, uh, the email checking has finished, and it was able to fetch 29 emails, and I think that includes uh, inbox emails and sent emails as well. So let's see what that looks like. Let's go to our inbox here and we now see uh, all those wordpress.com emails. Here we go, they showed up in our inbox. Uh, we have a lot more emails. Uh, they, they, they were marked as um, the state of the email was not maintained, so they were read before, but now they are unread here. Uh, that's okay, and let's go to the old inbox, and as we expected, uh, Gmail deleted them because we told them to, so this is an empty inbox now. All the emails out of here have been import, have been copied and moved from Tony Nicholas Arizona at gmail.com to Tony Teaches Tech at gmail.com. Guys, if you have any questions about this, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe for more videos like this from me in the future. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.